Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to my surprise Facebook Live. Today is an exciting day. Stampin' Up! is having their uh, Merry and Bright Online Extravaganza, which is our annually our Thanksgiving week sale. But today is the only day. This year we're just doing one simple day and almost everything from the annual catalog is 10% off. It's huge. There's so much on sale. There is a small exclusion list, and it includes things like the Stampin' Blends and the Stampin' Cut Emboss Machine, but most things, including stamp sets, ink pads, punches, bundles, entire sweet collections are on sale. So today, I wanted to share with you my must-have list. I'm sure you guys have your own list, but these are things that I use all the time and that I love so much. So I just wanted to share with you some projects today using all of my favorite things from the annual catalog. We've been talking a lot about the mini catalog lately and even having some sneak peeks of the next new mini catalog. So I kind of wanted to take a step back and look at this annual catalog and look at all the goodies. So these are my top picks. You may have some other things. And today only you can save 10% on all of these things that I'm going to share today. So you can do that in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. I forgot to write out my host code. I'll put it in the video description when we're all done. But if you use my host code and order $40 or more, then you're going to get a bonus project kit from me and a free little gift at the end of the month. Can you order Versamark refill, Melanie? Um, I don't know. Is that even a thing? Do we have Versamark refill in the catalog? Um, I didn't print out the exclusion list, so I'm not sure. Um, there were some, we do have the refill right there. Um, there were some inks that were on the list. What comes to mind is the stays on ink, both black and saddle brown. The memento ink I know is on the list. Pumpkin pie, randomly, they must be running low on pumpkin pie. Um, but I don't remember seeing the Versamark ink refill. It might be on the exclusion list. I would just go to the store and um, check it out. All the sale prices are marked on there. So if you don't see the price slashed out in a red price, then um, it is excluded from the list. Thanks so much for sharing, Debbie. I'm going to just jump right in. So I have a bunch of samples to share with you. Um, and it will not be a surprise if you guys have have been watching me. It's not a surprise that one of my favorite things from the annual catalog is the Whale of a Time Suite. And so I wanted to start by showing you that. So a suite is um, a collection of products that coordinate together and there's just one item number making it super easy to order. So the Whale of a Time Suite collection includes everything here on the table. It includes the Whale Done stamp set and coordinating whale punch. It includes the Whale of a Time 6x6 designer paper. It includes the um, Oh, seabed, I think it's called, embossing folder. It includes the pool party sheer ribbon and the whale of a time sequins. So all of these items individually are on sale for 10% off. So you can get any of them individually. But what I put on my must have list is the whole collection because you're going to want the whole thing. <laughs> so it's 10% off making it $58.95, which I think is a really awesome deal for all of these things. So let me show you some cards using um, all of these products to inspire you. You've seen these before if you've been watching me, but I just thought I would showcase them again. So here's the double Z fold, which uses the um, stamp set and the punch and the designer paper and even some of the sequins. And then here is a bridge fold card, again, using some of the same supplies. This folds flat for mailing in a regular envelope. It, <clears throat> excuse me, it has a piece of cardstock half covered here by the designer paper that goes across the front that sort of keeps that um, diorama shape. Then this one uses the stamp set and sequins, some of the designer paper and the embossing folder. Here is the, um, oh, what do we call this? I'm, I'm at a loss all of a sudden for the, the name for this, a peekaboo? Um, oh my gosh. Well, I'll have to, um, I'll look up the, the video tutorial link so that you can check this out and jog my memory. Um, the, I also used the stitched shape framelits, which are on my must-have list as well. I'm going to show you some more samples with the stitched 
shapes framelits, but I love them because they have uh, circles and squares and ovals. And this card is one that I, <laughs> I just love. It's hard not to play with it. Here I've got the designer paper, the stamp set, and the ribbon on this card. Wiper fold. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Well, honestly, I was up late. I wanted to get my orders in really early this morning so that I'd be first on the, on the shipping um, the shipping docket so that they would ship out right away because I know that Stampin' Up! is going to get flooded with orders today. So order early for the best line, the best spot in the shipping line because they order, they ship orders in the order that they are received. Um, here's another card that I created with the designer paper. I use the embossing folder and the stamps and the sequins. Like, I just feel like there's so much you can do with this. Here's a cute one you re might remember from World's Card Making Day using some of the designer paper. And this punch, the timeless label punch, is on my list of must-haves because it just fits things so perfectly. I'm going to use this punch for the cards that we're going to make today that you're going to time me for. So watch for that. But if you don't have this punch, you should think about getting it because it really is so versatile. Last card here is the one I made most recently. I used the stitch shaped circles, the stitched shaped circles again, embossing folder, stamp set, designer paper. And then I have a little bit on the inside there as well. So whale of a time, definitely top on my list of must have from the annual catalog and today only you can save 10 percent all right let's get into this card making so um i thought it would be really fun to use several of the items to make some cards so i've got some things ready to go one of my must-have items is the 20 20 2022 in color ink pad bundle i really love these in colors i think they're so fresh and um, different from a lot of the colors that we have in the current color line so i think this ink pad bundle is definitely a must have you can get all five um, together and normally you get a 10 percent discount when you get the ink pad bundle so today you can save an extra 10 percent on that price so it's thirty dollars and 38 cents for the five in color ink pads um, and let me show you before we make the cards some of the cards that i pulled out um, using the in colors because these seriously are just so gorgeous here's a card i made with the designer paper and the small blossom punch and the enamel dots to show off all the in colors together this is a swap card from my upline, Kim Peck, and she's got Bumblebee and Just Jade. And the other reason I pulled this card out is because she's using one of my favorite embossing folders, the Tasteful Textile 3D Embossing Folder. This is also on my list of must-haves, and I'm going to show you some more cards with this embossing folder. But I feel like this texture really goes well with so many different things. It's really, really versatile. So if you have um, a die-cutting machine that allows you to use embossing folders, I highly suggest the Tasteful Textile 3D Embossing Folder. I used it on this card for the background here. This is using the Celebrate Sunflowers stamp set. Just Jade, Cinnamon Cider, and Bumblebee are the in colors on this card. Here's a card with the World of Good Suite. And I use some of the designer paper. Misty Moonlight, Bumblebee, and Cinnamon Cider are what's on um, here. I didn't use this embossing folder, but I did use my must-have tailored tag punch. That is probably the punch that you've seen me use more than any other punch in any of my videos. And I'm going to show you that here in a minute, but I love the way that looks, especially for masculine cards. It's a really great shape, but it can do so much more than that. Here's one, uh, Misty Moonlight. This one's by Margot Richardson using the Celebrate Sunflowers, the dies, and the designer paper and ribbon. And then we have um, Just Jade here with the Blossom die cut. Really simple card. Here's one using a Ranger wreath. This bundle is on sale as well from the annual catalog. It has different um, accessory stamps for different occasions. So this is a really good one if you want a versatile bundle. Um, you'll be making cards for spring and fall and summer and winter with this stamp set. The in colors featured here are um, Magenta Madness, Bumblebee, and Just Jade. And that's it for the in color cards. So we're going to use the in colors plus the um, tasteful textile embossing folder. And I'm trying, I'm trying to find where I put everything. Um, and what's the 
this down here. My favorite punches, which are the Timeless Label Punch and the Tailored Tag Punch. Oh, I've got so much to show you that. <laughs> I gotta, gotta keep it organized. Um, so we're gonna use my two favorite punches, the ink pads, the Tasteful Textile Embossing Folder, and then um, the other thing that I, well, two more things, I guess, I pulled out. This is one of my favorite greeting stamp sets from the annual catalog. I love it because it covers so many occasions. We've got happy birthday, congratulations, thinking of you with all my heart, thank you, with deepest sympathy, wishing you every happiness this special day will bring. Congratulations. So we're going to use this stamp set, these punches, these ink pads, this embossing folder. And the one thing you need if you have um, cling mount or photopolymer stamps, the one thing you need are clear blocks. And so I've got all my blocks here in a bucket. So they're really convenient. I have quite a few multiples of different sizes that I like. But if you don't have a lot of blocks yet, then you might consider getting the clear block bundle. This is one of all the different sizes of the clear blocks that we have. And I think normally you get a discount when you get the bundle uh, and you get an extra discount if you get it today. So here's the sale price and the item number. If you get the um, the clear black bundle and it comes with all of the sizes. So we have one that's full size. Um, and this is great for big background stamps. I have used it on the big blossom stamp. What else did I use it for recently? Sometimes I just use it for techniques where I need a plastic surface. So this really works well for the watercolor techniques. Then you have um, the other sizes. These are the ones I, I'm not using offhand. I did mount some of the other stamps from the peaceful moments that we're gonna to use to make cards. So all of these clear blocks are included in that bundle. Okay, so we've got the clear block bundle, we've got the tags, the tasteful textile, the stamp set, the ink pads, and then the paper trimmer as well we're gonna use for these cards. Um, so I've, I've done the cutting ahead of time, actually, but if you're looking for a new paper cutter, I love this one. Uh, it has nice big blades. Let me see if I can take them out and show you if I put it down. Really, really nice big blades on here. So there, it comes with a cutting blade and a scoring blade. It has the arm that comes out, measurements in inches and in centimeters. So if you're following a tutorial from someone across the world, you will be able to measure in the same way that they're measuring their pieces. Um, so what I did was I cut I use the paper cutter and I cut some in color cardstock. So you can get an assortment pack. I like getting the cardstock that way because you get a few sheets of each of the colors. In fact, you get four sheets of each of the five in colors. So I cut the half sheets of cardstock into two and three quarter by four and a half pieces. And then I use the stamp and cut and emboss machine to run them through the big shot. So let me just show you. Each half sheet of cardstock will get you four of these pieces. Okay, so from the half sheets, I got four of each color and I ran them through with the tasteful textile embossing folder. And then I'm going to combine them with some designer paper. So I use the in color designer paper, which comes in a six by six pack. And I use the paper trimmer to cut these down to three by three. So I got four pieces of designer paper from each sheet of paper, four pieces from each paper. And then we're gonna use the stamps and we're gonna punch them out and make some cards. For the card base, I have um, 20 Whisper White cards. I used um, the paper trimmer to score and cut 10 pieces of cardstock in half to make my 20 card bases. So these are the card bases. I've got the embossed cardstock, the designer paper, I have some ribbon ready to go, and I have pre, um, I cut into strips some designer paper to stamp and punch the sentiments. So let me talk really quick about my favorite punches here. These two are my favorite. I probably use them more than any other. The Taylor Tag is my very favorite because not only can you stamp, or I'm sorry, punch your shape, which I showed you on one of those cards. You can also use it to cut a banner tip. So this is a two inch 
wide piece of cardstock. So you can go smaller than that as well. And no, actually this is two and an eighth. So it's a little bit, a little bit um, wider than two inches. So you can cut a banner tip and then you could also put it in this way from the back side and punch a, um, what do you call this kind of tip? A pointed tip? <laughs> really at a loss for words today. So three different ways to use the tailored tag punch. If you don't have this punch yet, I highly, highly, highly recommend tailored tag punch. So the other one then is the timeless label and it's got more of a rounded shape. Um, so also just a really classic shape, a little bit different, you know, if you want to break out of your circles and, you know, do something different, this is a, a good shape for that. So we are going to, um, I'm going to stamp all the sentiments and punch them first, and then we're going to assemble our cards. So who's going to be my timer today? Are you guys ready to time me? Let's see how long it will take me to, to create 20 cards. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm hopefully, I don't know. I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to take a guess. Let's see. So, um, 20 cards. And I've done some prep work, so I cheated a little bit in the prep work. But to actually stamp and assemble 20 cards, I'm trying to make a guess and see how long I think it'll take. I'm going to say, oh gosh, 15 minutes? Like it, tw I think I can do it in less than a minute a card. Let's see. Okay. Um, did, it, did I get a volunteer to, to start the timer? I don't see anybody. Someone's gotta, someone's gotta be our timer. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> I have four, we're making four cards in each color. So I'm gonna do four. Oh, I should get my chamois ready. Thomas, can you come and help me? Um, so one of the things on my must have list is the Simply Chamois. This is perfect for cleaning your stamps. And so I'm going to have Thomas go run it under the water and get it wet for me. Um, cause in between, I like to let it dry out so that it doesn't get funky. Okay. Yay. Yay. yay! So I've got a couple volunteers who are going to start or who are going to time us. So, um, while Thomas is cleaning that, let's go ahead and just jump in. I like to start with the lightest color. I don't know why it doesn't really make a difference. Um, and in case I wasn't clear, start the time. <laughs> um, so I'm going to stamp, what did I say? Four different sentiments, um, using each color to go on the cards. Oh, I hope I didn't run out of room here. And then we're going to punch them out. So this is Bumblebee. Oh, that one's going to be tight. I might have to flip it over. Thanks, Tom. Let's see if we can get that. Oh, that's too tight. With deepest sympathy. Okay, so we're going to turn it over. And... Happy birthday. Okay, I wonder if it's easier, I don't know, sometimes I wonder if it's easier to um, to punch first or to stamp first, and I think it depends on how tight the images are. Some of these are pretty tight, and I feel like if I tried to um, punch first that I might run out of like I might not stamp it straight. So stamping first and then punching allows you to be able to center the punch where you want it to go. The next color that we're using is Magenta Madness. And I'm gonna do one of each sentiment again. I don't remember. I think Diva Sympathy definitely has to go in the Taylor Tag punch. All right, next color is going to be Just Jade. Have you guys ever timed yourself with a marathon <laughs> stamping session? I feel this pressure, this pressure to perform. 
Maybe I shouldn't have, um, <laughs> I shouldn't have called the time. I said 15 minutes, but I'm, I'm starting to worry that is a crazy, not enough. Oops, my happy birthday. Oh my gosh. See, I'm going too fast and my words are starting to get slurry because I'm going so fast. So that's okay because I can just turn it over and use the other side of the cardstock. Happy birthday, I'm thinking of you. <laughs> 20 minutes, I think I can for sure get these done in 20 minutes. If you're just joining, I am using some of my favorite annual catalog goodies, my must-have list to create 20 cards using the in colors. And the stamp set I'm using is Peaceful Moments, which I think is a really versatile greeting set. One of my favorite stamp sets of all time is Sincere Salutations. That one has been retired for a while, but I loved it. The, the sentiments were all a really great size and fit into like lots of punches and it covered all the bases. It was such a good stamp set. Do any of you have that one? Do you have Sincere Salutations? I wonder if it's down in my box to sell. I will be having a big, I'm calling it Black Friday water heater sale because we need to get a new water heater. And I have a whole bunch of Stampin' Up! stuff downstairs that's retired and it's time for it to find a new home so that I can pay for the water heater. <laughs> so, Join me on Friday night for my water heater sale and you can find all kinds of awesome deals and help me pay for my water heater. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> oh, all right. We're almost done with our stamping. I like when I stamp a lot of cards, I like to do assembly line where I just do kind of one thing all at once and then I move on to the next thing. So I kind of did that earlier. I cut the designer paper into three by three pieces and I cut the cardstock and embossed all the pieces. So now we're just doing the same thing with the stamping. This last color is Cinnamon Cider. At On Stage, Stampin' Up! told us which was the most popular color of cardstock that sold um, since the annual catalog was released this summer. So. I'm going to have you guys guess. It was one of these three in colors. Do you think that it was Misty Moonlight, Just Jade, or Cinnamon Cider? Which of these colors do you think was the most popular cardstock color that Stampin' Up! sold this summer and fall, I guess? So since the annual catalog released. Misty Moonlight, Just Jade, or Cinnamon Cider? I'll give you a minute to put your answer in the comment and then I will tell you which one was the winner. Okay, we used the Peaceful Moments. My stamps are all clean. Oh, I gotta finish punching them. Okay. Perfecto. I've got some extra white strips. I'm going to save these for next time. What I did was I took a sheet of cardstock and I cut it into four strips, a two and an eighth, two and an eighth, two and an eighth, and two and an eighth. And these are a nice size for most punches. So I'm going to save those in my box and have them ready to go the next time I need to punch, to punch a bunch. All right, I'm seeing your answers come in. Bonnie says Misty Moonlight. Sean says Cinnamon Cider. Betty, Misty Moonlight. Carmen says Misty Moonlight. Janet says Misty Moonlight. Paulette says Misty Moonlight. Yolanda says Misty Moonlight. Lisa says Cinnamon Cider. Melanie, Misty Moonlight. You guys are right. Misty Moonlight was the most popular cardstock color, followed by Cinnamon Cider and then Just Jade. I was kind of surprised that Cinnamon Cider was so up there. Not one of my favorites, but I think definitely a unique color for our Stampin' um, 
color families. Okay, those are the in color ink pads. Like I said, an extra 10% discount if you buy them today during the sale. So if you don't have them yet, you'll definitely want to think about adding that to your wish list. Okay, I'm gonna set some things aside as we bring in our card bases. I'm trying to keep myself organized here. Okay, so now it's time to do some gluing. We have our three by three designer paper squares, and these are two and three quarter inches by four and a quarter. So I'm going to do this again in sort of a assembly line mode. So I'm going to start by putting all the designer or all the um, embossed cardstock pieces on the um on the cards and then I'll add the designer paper and then the punched greeting and I cut a little bit of ribbon because I didn't get a chance to make one of these ahead of time but I thought maybe it looked a little bit um a little bit plain like it needed some dressing up I might find that I'll add some rhinestones or something too we do have some in color enamel dots and that might be a good option. I am putting a little bit of an angle on this. You could put it straight if you wanted to. There's multiple ways you could do this. Let me kind of give you an idea of what I'm going for. I was gonna have bold pieces at an angle. And overlapping like this. And then the sentiment and the ribbon. Let's get the scissors out and just it's hard sometimes with this ribbon. I cut multiples at a time so it frays a little bit. I just want a nice, nice clean edge there. So this is gonna go in the back and a little bit of tear and tape to hold it down. and some dimensionals. Oh my gosh, also a must. I don't remember if the dimensionals are on the excluded list. I know that Seal and Seal Plus and the refills are on the exclusion list, um, but I'm not sure about stamp and dimensionals. Okay, so that's what we're going for. What do you think? Betty, the embossing folder is the tasteful textile embossing folder. This is from the annual catalog and it is part of my must have list. So I will share the links to all of these items in the description when I'm all done. But this is my favorite embossing folder. And when we're done making these cards, I'm going to show you some more um, card samples using all of um, all of the things on my must have list. So I have some more samples from the annual catalog and I have some samples from the um, holiday catalog in which I've used some of these products as well. So all of the things that are on my favorites list, like this embossing folder, is so good for multiple occasions. Like it's not specific to, to any one holiday or any one occasion or event. So um, you can get these products and use them for many, many different kinds of projects. Again, these are two and three quarter inches by four and a quarter, which is just a nice size to cut um, evenly from a sheet of cardstock. So you can get eight of these um, cardstock pieces from one sheet of cardstock. Which of the in colors is your favorite? Do you guys have a favorite? I honestly, I don't think I can decide. I really love the Misty Moonlight, but also the Just Jade. I think for me, it's between those two. Um, but I think that they're awesome colors for the whole year. Like sometimes the, the ink colors, I feel like, oh, these are very fall colors or very spring colors or, or very bright summer colors. But I feel like these colors this year really transcend season. And I... I think they're good for fall. Like here's, look at this fall combination. Even the blue in there. And then adding the pink for um, spring and summer. And I just posted the other day a Christmas card using Magenta Madness. So even Magenta Madness is not just for spring and summer. Julie says Just Jade is her favorite. 
And I love, these ink colors are good for two years. So we have new ink colors every year, but they kind of filter out. So there's two groups. I call them the, um, the junior and the senior in colors. That's not an official name. That's just, <laughs> that's just what I call them. So um, because they're good for two years, when they come in, I call them the junior in colors. And then the next year as they're headed out, I call them the senior in colors and then they retire. So um, these are the junior in colors. This is their first year. And so we'll have another catalog, another annual catalog as well, where these are still current. I don't want to know how I'm doing on time because I feel like I am, <laughs> I feel like I'm not going to meet my goal. How about a time update? Who's our timekeepers? Now these designer papers have two sides, so you can really mix and match. You don't have to do all your papers on the same side. Um, and I'm doing all of my cards monochromatic, but you could mix it up and do um, you know, yellow with the brown, if you wanted to. I don't know. I'm going to keep them all monochromatic. I'm not going to go crazy. Not that it would be that crazy to mix the colors. <laughs> oh, but I was just thinking, if I start mixing the colors, then um, my ribbons and my paper and everything will be all, all messed up. <laughs> It's been 13 minutes already, or I have 13 minutes left. It's probably been 13 minutes. Okay, so I am definitely not going to do it in 15 minutes. <laughs> that was a that was a crazy, a crazy guess on my part. But I think we could still finish in 20. About seven more, seven more minutes. It, it'd be crazy. It'd be a little crazy, but let's see. Let's see what we can do. Donna likes cinnamon cider. Hi, Donna. I don't want to ask how the weather is in Arizona because I know, right? It's got to be warm. It's cold here. Not terrible. And we have not had any snow yet in central Illinois, so I'm happy about that. I don't love the snow. The kids have still been playing outside and getting fresh air, so I cannot argue. It's been 14 minutes. Okay, I am getting tired of this card already. <laughs> that is the problem when you're making multiples, is um, sometimes it's easy to get bored. Do you find that when you're making your Christmas cards that you get bored with the pattern? Like, do you mix it up and make card different cards just because you don't want to make a whole bunch of the same? Or maybe Christmas is different and you don't mind making such a large number of the same card. So many fun patterns in this paper. We've got the wood grain. We've got like the distressed texture, the polka dots. There's words on one side. Um, there's the words. I think that was all of them. There's four different patterns. You wanna make sure your words are straight up and down. Then the words say to share what we love, to love what we do and share what we love in different languages. So that's kinda of cool. Cause you know, we have, Stamped Up has offices um, all over the world. We're in Europe and the South Pacific in countries like um, Germany and France and the Netherlands and New Zealand. So we have all kinds of languages in our offering. Okay, almost done. Ooh, okay, 20 card bases. 
decorated with our cardstock and our um, designer paper. I don't, I think I'm going to cheat a little with the ribbon and try to put it on a little bit easier. So I'm going to do a bit of um, adhesive across the center of the tags. This will be faster than trying to use the tear and tape like I did on the first one. Okay, and then we just need to do some trimming. Man. Sometimes I'm just in too much of a hurry. Oh, it's like a puzzle, trying to, like a memory game. <laughs> trying try to remember which color is where. And then some Stampin' Dimensionals. Okay, next one. This is easy because I can see the card pieces, the tags where I messed up. <laughs> so that's a green one. Two dimensionals on the back. What do you think about these monochromatic cards? Oh, Donna, your house smells so good. I love baking for that exact reason. When we sold our house um, three years ago and we moved just in town to a new house, but um, I used to make ban banana bread like every time that we would have a showing because it would just make the house smell so good. And it baked for an hour, so like the smell was not going away like it was it was really strong and it just made the house smell so homey this is such a great time of year for good smells in the kitchen oops i guess i need to find a green one to put this on okay next up is yellow Another cheat. That's a whole different game with the memory. I love playing little games like that. One game that I've been playing recently with the girls is called Quirkle. Have you guys ever heard of that game? It's like a similar to dominoes where there's different um, tiles and then you have to play them like in a certain order. So you can only play like the same color in a line or the same shape in a line. Um, and so... Uh, we have a lot of fun with that game. The girls beat me, though. They, they're just so smart. Okay. Any Meeny, Money. This one has a yellow. Oh, no. That was a bad guess. Ah <laughs> well, the more I do, the easier it'll be because there'll be fewer to guess from. Okay, I fear that we're approaching our 20 minute mark and I am, <sighs> yes, Melanie, I just saw your thing. Sorry to hear the timer went off. Ah! All right, well, we didn't get it under 20, but we're still making amazing time. 20 cards in 20 whatever minutes is pretty good. I remember that one was blue. See, memory. I feel like I should have cut my ribbons just a titch longer. Um, okay, brown is next. Nope, pink, blue, jade, brown. Well, the kids have been doing virtual school and today is the last day before 
Thanksgiving break. So they're off tomorrow and Friday and Thursday and the weekend. So we have been counting down to this little break. We're just staying home and having Thanksgiving with all of our favorites just by ourselves. Are you guys staying home for Thanksgiving too? Are you planning a quiet celebration or are you still getting together with your family? Part of the thing that complicates it for us is that we do not have any family that lives nearby. All of my family is in different states. So if we were closer maybe and could quarantine with them, then it, it might be different, but we don't get to see them. And that makes it even worse that we don't get to see them and that we can't see them for the holidays. But um, I was ju I just saw a post about um, <laughs> it was so cute. I don't I don't know where this came from, but it was some uh, somebody who was brainstorming a new holiday and they're calling it all a day, A L L I D A Y. And um, it's all the holidays in one. So you wake up and you have an Easter egg hunt. And then um, you, I'm trying to remember, oh, a uh, king, king cake for breakfast, and then um, pumpkin carving in the morning, and Thanksgiving dinner for lunch, then um, cookie making and decorating, tr <laughs> trick or treating in the afternoon. Um, and I and then Christmas dinner and then it ends with fireworks and um what was it? fireworks and sparklers maybe like a New Year's or a Fourth of July. So when we can get together again, we are going to have an holiday. All the holidays rolled up in one. Oh, there was birthday in there too. A gift exchange, birthday cake and candles and balloons. Oh, no. <sighs> okay. We're getting there. I know. It totally does sound exhausting, Sue. <laughs> I thought about all the baking that would have to happen in that day. And I thought, oh, my gosh, that would be totally insane. It also reminded me of something else I saw. <laughs> With the guys sitting at the table saying, oh, how much they loved Thanksgiving because it was such a like a 100 percent stress free holiday. And uh, all the women were in the background totally exhausted from having cooked all day at my house. My husband is definitely um, definitely involved in cooking and um, and he will be smoking a turkey for us this year. So we'll both be exhausted from making all of our favorites and making them all by ourselves. Usually we would share, right? Like one person would make this and one person would make that and we'd get together, but we'll be making all of our favorites all by ourselves. And so it will be, it will be a long day. Although I did say we're still going to do Thursday night stamp therapy. So if you usually join me on Thursday nights, um, have your big Thanksgiving meal and then tune in. And we'll do some stamping and share some projects and kind of have some fun on Thanksgiving because even though we are going to be baking a lot, it's going to be a pretty quiet day here at the Davisons. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing so well at my memory game. 25 minutes. Oh, gosh, this is taking so much longer than I thought it would. I don't know why I thought I could stamp faster. Well, I mean, really, it's got a lot of layers. It's a very involved card. Okay, well, we're getting close to being done. And then I have some cards to show you with some of my other favorite must-haves. So don't go anywhere or go somewhere and come back. <laughs> but we're almost we're almost done, so don't go too far. And then um, you'll want to see some of these other projects that I'm going to show you. So I started, I shared at the beginning of the video, in case you're joining late, you'll have to go back and watch the replay. I shared some cards with my favorite Whale of a Time suite. And then I shared some cards um, using the in colors because those that's what we're using right now. And then, um, and now we're making these 20 cards. So we're getting close to being done with our 20 cards. 
and then we'll end with some more card samples to show you some other ways to use the embossing folder and the punches and um, my favorite dies, the stitched shapes. Those have been out for a while, but they're just, they're so classic. It's like a circle punch. Like you just can't go wrong with the stitched shapes. So if you don't have them yet, definitely add them to your list. Oh, that's kind of weird. I guess I didn't think about my sentiments. A hot pink with deepest sympathy. Hmm. I will have to think about who I send that to. Is that too cheery of a color? Maybe I'll have to switch the sentiment. I think it works better with a green or blue, but pink might be too much. What do you guys think? Magenta for a sympathy card? You know what? I don't like turkey either. I'm seeing. Um, I'm hoping that with Jim smoking the turkey that it'll, it'll turn out better. I always feel like turkey's so dry and so it's not been not been a favorite of mine either but um I am so traditional that I can't not have turkey for Thanksgiving <laughs> Colleen I think you're right I think it would work for someone whose favorite color was pink because it would be meaningful to the family it looks like I cut too many ribbons I'll just have to make some more cards. This is the last one, Bumblebee. Oh, shepherd's pie. Do you guys do turkey for Thanksgiving or do you do alternatives? Is that what you're talking about right now? Maybe I missed some of the comments. Okay guys, stop the timer. Whew, we're done. 20 cards. I've got my, my massive ribbon and dimensionals off the table. 20 cards. Using all my favorite stuff. I've got the in color ink pads that we used. We used the tasteful textile embossing folder the Peaceful Moments stamp set. We used the Timeless Tag Punch, the Tailored Tag Punch. Of course, we used the Paper Trimmer to trim all the paper. And we used the Simply Shammy ah, to clean our stamps in between. And we used our clear blocks to put the stamps on. So that covered so many of my must-have lists. So we used this one, 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 and this one. That's like eight, right? Yeah, we used eight different things um, from this must-have list. So here is just my list. These are just 10 of the hundreds of things that are on sale today only with Stampin' Up! So you can save 10% on almost everything from the annual catalog. There are a few exclusions, but most stamp sets ink pads, punches, dies, bundles, sweet collections. Uh, many of the tools are on sale, some of the adhesive, ribbon, embellishments, everything, almost, almost everything is 10% off today. So you can order in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. Are you ready to see some more samples? Let me put all these cards aside. I really like the way they turned out. And what a fun set this would be to give as a gift. I could do one of each color card um, and I would have four gift sets right there, four little card sets that I could gift made up with those in colors, one of each color. Okay, so more fun things. One thing I didn't show you yet is the stitched shape dies. And I said these are 
these are a classic. Like we have had these in the catalog for a while. Um, mine are not very well organized. <laughs> They're not very well organized. Um, but each, each shape has four different sizes. So there's four, um, four ovals, four squares, four circles. And um, the largest size, it's not, it's not really like that big. Let me get a really, let me get a ruler really quick. So like the largest square is two and a half and the circle is three and the oval, let me do the length of the oval. The oval is about three and a quarter. And so then it goes smaller from there. And then the smallest ones, one and a quarter for the square, one and a quarter for the circle, and then the length is one and three quarters for the oval. Okay, so four different sizes. I use these a lot. So I'm gonna share with you some cards using the stitched shape dies. I looked at the catalog this morning and I thought, what is something that I use a lot? And it was definitely the stitched shape. So here's some cards where I use the stitched shape dies, the circle here. This is the same size circle, just in different colors. This is the Playful Pets designer paper. And, um, and so similar patterns here, and both with the dog. The um, designer paper is on sale. You can get the entire suite on sale. The trim is on sale. The little trinkets are on sale. Um, here's another card using the designer paper. So on this one, I used the tailored tag punch to color the band to cut the banner tip. There's that timeless tag punch, which I also used on the inside of this card. So there's some samples again: the stitch shapes, the timeless tag punch the tailored tag punch, and it's not on my must-haves, but the Playful Pets designer paper and suite. Definitely something that is fun to get. Here's another one where I used the, um, the stitched shapes on a whole trio of cards. This is using the Dove of Hope bundle from the mini catalog, and the Dove of Hope bundle is not on sale. However, the copper foil paper is, and the stitch shapes that I used here are as well. So I've got the circle, the square, and another circle, and then there's that timeless tag punch again. This is the diagonal easel card. I need to do a video for that and get it posted, so watch for that this week. If you missed, I, I shared this one in a Facebook Live last month, I think it was. Here's another version of the, um, of the diagonal um, easel card. This one uses the dinosaur stamp set and the um, artistry blooms designer paper. So the designer paper is part of the sale. The dinosaur stamp set is part of the sale. There's that timeless label punch again, the stitch shapes. I love the colors on this. This is um, Night of Navy Coastal Cabana and then Granny Apple Green. Okay, so how about some more stitched shapes? Here's another one from the mini catalog. I've got the stitch circle and the stitch square. This one is the Tag Buffet stamp set and um, Heartwarming Hugs designer paper. I use the Taylor Tag Punch to create the banner tip at the bottom of both of these. And then this is Merry Moose, which is that fun. Do you remember this card from last year? This peekaboo flip card. I'll have to post the link to the tutorial for this one as well. The Buffalo Check, the Buffalo Check background is on sale 10% off. Uh, I don't think that tag punch is, but the braided linen thread is. Then I've got some more. Here are some with the um, poinsettia place designer paper and I've got the stitched oval here and here. Again, same size, one's in color, one's not. The sprig punch is on sale. The, um, the bundle from the mini catalog is not, the designer paper is not. Here's one, same designer paper, and can you see it's got the tasteful textile embossing folder. This card is by Jody Reinhardt. And let me just get it out so you can see the texture a little bit better. So this is that tasteful textile embossing folder. And then I have a couple more Christmas cards that use that tasteful textile. This one is by Margot Richardson with the bells. 
And this peacock ribbon is in the annual catalog, so that's on sale. The gold foil is on sale. The tasteful textile embossing folder is on sale. Here's another one. This one is by Lee Young, and she has it in the background. Let me take that out so you can see a little bit better. So tasteful textile, it's just a really nice texture. So we've got some different Christmas cards with it. Earlier I showed you some other cards um, using, this is a good one for masculine cards, like a nice texture for that. Um, and then I've got one more, uh oh, which one, this one was Jody's. One more card um, using the Timeless Tag Punch. I just love, again, that punch. And I think you guys have seen me use it. Um, I think you've seen me use it a lot. I used it to make the cards today. And it's just a great all-around shape that fits lots of different greetings. Like, these are from the um, Peaceful Moments that we just made today. Oh my goodness gracious! Well, I think that is it for now. I hope you enjoyed some of the projects that I shared. Make sure you get your order in today because this 10% this discount for the Merry and Bright promotion from Stampin' Up! is today only. Almost everything from the annual catalog is 10% off and you can place your order in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. You can get all of these and many, many more. I'll post this list in case you want to look it over. Whether you get these today or not, I think these definitely need to be on your wish list if you don't have them already. That's it for me today. Make sure to tune in on Thursday. I'll be doing Facebook Live at 7, 10 p.m. Central Time. And happy Thanksgiving. See you next time. Bye.